For Session Update, I'm Shannon Lurkey. On Wednesday, May 4th, Algebra 1 students from the Open World Learning Community, a magnet school in St. Paul, visited the Minnesota Senate Building as part of an expeditionary learning assignment. The first of its kind for this class and one that teacher Tom Todeshek hopes will continue. So the students in the Algebra 1 class have been studying um, the question, uh, does the Minnesota state budget reflect the values of the state of Minnesota? And they've been doing data analysis and that sort of thing. And as an expeditionary learning school, EL Education, they just changed the name, um, the idea is to present their findings to an authentic audience. And there's no more authentic audience than uh, the Senate policymakers and representatives have that the students have invited personally down to this meeting. The topics studied were chosen by the students and they presented their findings to legislators and others in the Senate building. We are doing air quality and asthma, so like how bad air quality is affecting asthma and how many people in Minnesota are affected by asthma and air quality, bad air quality. So, What's the most interesting thing that you've learned? Um, like how much air air quality alerts have gone down over the years. So in 2004 we had 18 air quality alerts, in 2006 we had 10 and so on, And but in 2014 we only had four, so it went significantly down over the years. Our like main focus is that we want them to increase by 2% the funding on it because they have been increasing as you've been, like, as it went down is because of the increase in funds. And so I think it would be, if they increased it, then it could go down to even like zero or one. We were doing research on the cost of corrections versus the cost of education. With um, more money for schools and universities, then the more chance for students to have options for different kinds of learning, um, just stuff like that basically. So we're comparing um, education and homeless rates, the relationship between the two in Minnesota. And what's the most interesting thing that you've learned? Um, Minnesota's um, homeless rate is actually increasing um, by, through the roof. It's growing, constantly growing, which is very negative, but um, we were able to come up with an idea to um, solve that. What would you like lawmakers to know? Um, that this is a growing problem and something does need to be done. Um, it's, it's leaving a bad reputation for Minnesota, we found, um, with the correlation between the two. It's, it's not putting a good face on Minnesota. A lot of people in Minnesota, like a large percentage of Minnesota people are homeless or living with friends or living in parks. Um, and I think that this is a really big problem that we need to address. Their teacher, Mr. Todeshek, spoke of how much the students learned from this project and that many who don't consider themselves good test takers or who feel particularly strong in academics excelled in this kind of process. Mr. Todeshek hopes to repeat this project in upcoming years.